Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Casper Planetarium's Facebook page. My name's Rod. I'm the Planetarium Educator and Technician. Uh, since people can't come to the Planetarium right now, we thought we'd bring something of the Planetarium to you. So what we'd like to do today is uh, talk about yesterday. I know it was cold and snowy here yesterday in Casper, but honestly, yesterday was the first day of spring, what we refer to as the spring, or more properly, the vernal equinox. So let's talk a little bit about what that means. What is the vernal equinox? Well, the vernal equinox has to do with this object right here, the sun. And the sun, as it, as the earth orbits around the sun through the course of the year, it follows a line we call the ecliptic. Now I'm going to turn our daylight off so we can see that line a little better. So as you can see here, here was February, here we are in March, and up here you can see April. So as the Earth orbits around the Sun, the Sun appears to uh, follow a path through the 12 constellations that we refer to as the zodiac. Now we're not going to talk about the importance of the zodiac, but let's put the zodiac constellations up here. So you can see back in February it was between Capricorn and Aquarius, and right now it's over here kind of next to the constellation Pisces. So what does it mean when we talk about the spring equinox or vernal equinox? Well, the ecliptic here crosses over the celestial equator two times a year, first day of spring and first day of fall. Now, the celestial equator is nothing more than Earth's equator projected out into space. And as you can see here, yesterday, March 19th, the sun exactly was on the celestial equator. And so that means that the vernal equinox is the day when the sun on the ecliptic crosses the celestial equator going north. That means yesterday, if you happen to be in the city of Quito, Ecuador, you would see the sun directly overhead at noon. Here in Casper, that's never possible. The sun is never directly overhead. But as the sun moves north of the equator, uh, it's going to be higher in the sky each day at noon. It's going to rise a little bit further north each day, and it's going to set a little bit further north each day in the west. So that is what the um, that is what the vernal equinox is. Is when the sun crosses the celestial equator, going north towards the. Uh, summer solstice. So tomorrow we'll talk a little bit about what that means for our planet for right now. Uh, keep watching our Facebook page for more cool stuff about the sky. And uh, if you go out, if you happen to start going out with your kids in the evening, start looking at where the sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening and see if you can tell a difference of where it rises and sets between now as we go forward. Thanks so much. Have a great day.